U.S. Air Force's next-generation air dominance program fighter to get unique software system. The Air Force's future fighter is being built with its flight control software completely separated from the software governing its mission systems, a unique feature that the service's top general said will allow the aircraft to be refreshed with new technologies more quickly. Air Force Chief of Staff General C.Q. Brown told reporters during April 2022 roundtable that the approach for the so-called next-generation air dominance program is one that he believes the service has not taken in any of its previous fighters. If you're able to take the flight control software and separate it from the mission system software, and I plug in an extra black box with whatever computing power, it doesn't interfere with the flight controls, Brown said. In the F-16 I flew, the mission software and the flight control software were all intertwined. So any time you did a mission upgrade, you had to go back and make sure the aircraft is safe to fly. This concept in terms of defining a system of systems concept for the next generation air dominance platform. Certainly the Air Force has shown that advanced AI-enabled computer algorithms are capable of processing information in milliseconds, making decisions and performing quite well in dogfights, at times prevailing over human pilots. The next-generation air dominance program platform is expected to incorporate a new generation of stealth fighter jet properties to include new dimensions of speed, maneuverability, stealth properties sensing and AI-enabled information processing. Therefore, the optimal approach, many Air Force developers seem to emphasize, it to optimize the best of both manned and unmanned systems operating in close coordination with one another in a networked capacity. This will allow the operation to benefit from the best of each. Perhaps this is why the Air Force has had some success flying manned jets with an unmanned, AI-capable co-pilot. This kind of synergy seems to encompass much of Kendall's focus for the sixth-generation platform as it can blend the unparalleled attributes of both human pilots as well as drones. Part of the equation, Kendall also expressed, is the added benefit of cost savings because unmanned systems do not need to be built with a comparable measure of protections. We're looking for systems that cost nominally on the order of at least half as much as the manned systems that we're talking about for both next generation air dominance program and for B-21 while adding capability, he said. The Air Force has already made breakthrough progress with an ability to operate a loyal wingman drone alongside a manned fighter jet. This greatly reduces latency by obviating the need to send video feeds and data through a ground control station and enables man crews to operate the sensor payload and flight path of a nearby unmanned system. While the next generation air dominance program remains highly secretive, spending on the effort has been gradually growing over the past several years, a sign of continued progress. The Air Force wants $1.65 billion for the next generation air dominance program in fiscal 2023. Earlier this month, Major General James Bessier, the Air Force's Deputy Assistant Secretary for Budget, attributed that increase to advanced sensors and resilient communications gear for the next generation air dominance program so-called sixth gen fighter the kinds of mission systems could be continuously evaluated throughout development thank you for watching please like share comment and subscribe